everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video I want to talk about a change of approach I've had to my driving following my last video where I discovered, well I didn't really discover, I knew all along anyway but it kind of confirmed it and that is that my uh, right foot is the reason for my rear tyres not lasting very long. At a recent service I found that my rears only had four and a half millimetres on them and the fronts had six and a half so I've worn through two mil more on the back in the same mileage as the front. I need these tyres to last long enough until Bedford which is now only a week away and I'm hoping to get them to the auto solo in the middle of September as well. So I've had to change my default driving mode, my love of DSC fully off and that rear diff means the rear tyres just aren't lasting very long at all. If I carried on driving as I was, beating them for a fall down track at Bedford and needing legal tread for the drive home, that would have been a bit too close for comfort. So I've had to choose between one of the three driving modes that gives me full traction control, Eco Pro, Comfort and Sport. Let's start with Eco Pro. Nope, do not like it. It's the most non-linear throttle I've ever experienced in a car. You get nothing, squeeze a bit more, still nothing, squeeze some more, still nothing. And then you get to a particular point in the pedal travel and bam, you go from what feels like 20% throttle to 100%. It's like an on-off switch. I just can't get along with that. EcoPro does have its plus points though. On a run recently, a fairly lengthy drive, in my uneconomical manual car, I managed over 40 miles to the gallon. That's economy on a par with my standard 1.6 litre Mark 7 Ford Fiesta ST. That's incredible. So that leaves me to choose between comfort and sport driving modes. And as we know, sport gives me options. For the chassis, I get switchable dampers and steering, so I can either have firm dampers and heavy steering, or light steering and soft dampers. And the drivetrain setting, if enabled, gives me enhanced engine noise through the speakers. You get some theatre with some pops and crackles from the exhaust, and you also get a sharper throttle response. In sport, I can have the drivetrain setting enabled, the chassis setting enabled, or both. Now, I don't really like the firm dampers day to day, and on roads like this, where it's all a bit choppy, it's, um, it's not ideal. But I don't really like the drivetrain setting either. I like the enhanced noise that you get from the exhaust. I like the enhanced noise you get through the speakers. But the throttle completely ruins it. It's just way too sharp. I mean, ridiculously so. It does feel linear, but it's all over within what feels like about 50% of the pedal travel. That's just too much. I, I just can't get along with that. For me, it's all about the comfort throttle. I want 50% on the pedal to give me 50% throttle. I want the pedal fully down to give me 100% throttle. So apart from the aforementioned run that I did in Eco Pro, I forced myself to drive for the last 600 miles in comfort driving mode. And I never thought I'd find myself saying this, but comfort is now my favorite driving mode. On roads like this, in comfort setting with the dampers set to soft, they do their best. It's not the sharpest thing though. It can feel a bit woolly and imprecise here and there, but it doesn't stop the lovely front engine rear wheel drive chassis balance though. It doesn't stop your ability to neutralize understeer with a bit of throttle just to tighten the line a bit, all the while trying to just edge up to and tickle the traction control with a nice linear throttle. If I'm honest, it's been a learning experience. It's brought me back from playing with the back end at every opportunity, using the DSC and the diff pretty much everywhere, but destroying my rear tires in the process. Instead, I've just been trying to be super smooth with everything that I do, using the grip that the rear tires have, making maximum forward progress with just the occasional traction event. And that's just as well, because I've got Bedford next weekend, and out of all of the people that I know that are going and all the cars that are going, my car is among the slowest. As I found out recently, manual versus auto, I'm about a second slower to 100, and that's against a standard 140 with the ZF8 speed. Down the one kilometer long back straight at Bedford, that's gonna be a good few car lengths. I'm gonna have some serious work to do. Of course, I'll be recording every session at Bedford, it's a true open pit lane day, which I haven't done for a long time because they run sessions at Goodwood. So we're going to have the ability to go out in pairs, 
try a few things, get some good footage. It's gonna be a fantastic day. I'm really looking forward to it. And apart from waiting for a new tow eye cover, as a result of that kamikaze pigeon, I'm ready for Bedford. If you want to see that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.